Hi there. This is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about an Intune enrollment error and how to fix that particular error. 8018013. That is the error we are going to talk about today. So let's find out what is the cause of this error and how to fix this. So don't skip the video. Let's get into it. Let's try to understand when this error is happening. So go to settings app and go to accounts. Inside the accounts, go to access school or work account page. Right over there, you can use enroll only in device management option rather than the connect option. Connect option is for different purpose. So I would recommend to use the device enrollment option. Ended the username and password. Now it is trying to register and there was a problem. Your account has reached a maximum device limit for connecting school or work account. That is error I got. Now let's try to install a company portal app. That is a different way of enrolling a Windows 11 device to Intune. So let's try that. This is for BYO scenario or personal device scenario. So I'm installing the company portal from Microsoft store and it is getting installed and it is getting downloaded now now the installation got completed it is this asking to log in need to enter the same username and password this is the username and then i need to enter the password okay click on sign in now yes it will ask you to click on ok do not remove the check mark allow my organizations to manage device that check mark should be there and then click on ok now it is processing and let's see what is the error over here it says hold on while we register the device with your company and apply policy this may take moment okay it is giving the same error your account was not set up on this device because device management could not be enabled the device might not be able to access the company resources. What is the error? Error code is same 8018013. And account has too many devices enrolled to mobile device management. Delete or unenroll all devices to fix this issue. That was the error I got from this enrollment. So I tried with settings app and then I tried with company portal application. Now few options left for me. I need to go to Intune portal and check how many devices are assigned to this particular user from troubleshooting plus support section as you can see in the screen. There are a lot of devices connected to so probably that is the reason. So I'm going to delete some of the devices from Intune. Try to find out some some of the unused devices and delete it from Intune portal. How to delete the devices from Intune portal? We have shown that in the previous video. So I will link that video into the I button over there on the right side top corner to check that out. I'm going to go into Azure Active Directory and then going to devices and check the devices are there or not. If the devices are there, I'm going to delete those devices, the old devices from Azure Active Directory as well as from Intune. If you go to users, you would be able to see which are the devices assigned to a particular user. So I'm going to check the test account, HDMD test account. How many devices are there from the devices node over here? You can see many devices are there. Probably we need to delete some of the devices. Okay, I have deleted one. Okay, it got deleted from Intune as your active directory as well. Now I'm deleting one more device that is called Windows 11 DJ. Let's go to device settings and see what is the device limitation from Azure AD side. So it is 100 devices per user. So that is fine. There is no restriction over here like 5 devices, 10 devices. A user can register to Azure AD. So it is 100 devices. We are fine from that side. Now let's go to devices and then enrollment. Within the enrollment, go to Windows. Windows. Within Windows, you would be able to see two types of restrictions. Device platform restriction and then device limit restriction click on device limit restriction and check out what are the device limitations set over there so i'm going to change the default one over there go to properties and then edit it, device limit and from the drop down you can select maximum 15 devices so i'm going to select 15 and then i'm going to save that okay click on save okay we don't have restrictions from intune portal as well as from Azure AD portal. We can have up to 15 devices. Now let's try this again. Enter the username and click on next. After clicking on 
next button you need to wait for some minutes or a few seconds to complete the enrollment process once the enrollment is completed you will see a different screen okay now you can see the setup is completed it will take few minutes to complete the policy download and configurations etc click on got it button and let's go to connected by hdmd test and go to info to get more details and you can sync for the policies from here right now let's launch company portal and check what is happening with company portal application it is processing that means the company portal automatically took the configuration from the settings app because it knows the device is already enrolled it is just asking to select the category so we are all set so we have successfully enrolled the device we resolved 801-800-13 issue by doing few things increase the device limit from azure ad and intune and then remove some of the stale devices now let's quickly look into intune portal and search for this particular device and you can see the device is enrolled intune test vm and you can see all the details in the overview of that vm now let's also check the same thing device record in azure portal it is also there and it says managed by intune and it is azure ad registered device so we are all set now that you know what are the reasons for 801-800-13 error your account has reached the maximum device limit for connecting to your work or school account so that is the error now you know how we have fixed it hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around